Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Gemini's. The major theme for you this month is lessons in the law of abundance, where the divine is asking you to do a big spiritual, energetic, financial, and career audit related to the incredible foundation that you've laid in your career. And all of the wisdom that you've gained from challenges, pain, gains, and losses, where they've all been orchestrated by the cosmos to teach you lessons about your sense of self-worth and true potential net worth. The main messages for you related to the stars and cards this month are for you to take time out for soul and heart and any physical healing this month to really harness your heart and mind guidance for your life work going forward. This next chapter of your life is about mastery of the law of abundance. And there's a message here that came through that says, you need to know that you can do less right now because your less is still more than most. Trust your talents and the strong foundation that you've laid. There's also a message here for you to understand that delays and losses haven't been because you don't measure up. There's a message for you to trust divine timing. The divine will tell you when it is time for something. All right, and from this point forward, it's important for you to trust and harness your higher mind discernment in combination with financial or legal literacy, right? To build on and maximize a strong foundation that you've laid and to protect your assets and wealth potential. And this is due to the month's powerful and transformative celestial activity that's really urging everyone to do a sort of huge audit to course correct and prepare for this new moon and lunar node mid-month portal. <laughs> this portal that really offers an opportunity to end and heal a huge karmic cycle and to quantum leap level up and majorly transform main areas of your practical lives. And so to see the full moon astrology and deeper spiritual insights relevant for this month, definitely watch and listen to the July 2023 astrology forecast in addition to this personalized reading. And to know more about how the lunar nodes in Aries and Libra will be affecting you throughout the remainder of 2023 through 2024, definitely check out the Eclipse Season Horoscope and Tarot Guide here on the channel. It absolutely gives a thorough breakdown, some incredible insights of how to work with this energy and what it will be bringing starting this month. And so this audit and course correction energy is really due to kicking the month off with a significant full moon in Capricorn on the 3rd and having all major outer planets retrograde as well and then having the new moon in Cancer happen on the same day that the lunar nodes of karma and destiny change into the signs of Aries and Libra at the middle of the month, July 17th. But for you in particular, this is all affecting your houses of career, money, and wealth potential, while you have the planet of higher wisdom and awareness and abundance, the planet Jupiter, in your house of spirituality, subconscious fears and beliefs, spiritual healing, rest, dreams, and discernment. And this synchronicity is depicted so beautifully and clearly in the cards, dear Gemini's. If you look at the cards here, if you're following along on YouTube, and if you are listening via the podcast, definitely always check out the YouTube so that you can follow along with the beautiful visuals and see any key dates that are listed that are mentioned related to the astrology. But Depicted here in the cards, Gemini, we have you at the center with this Four of Swords card seated in front of the moon, with the moon symbolizing 
the deep emotion and wisdom from memories and shadow work about the past, symbolizing the deep creativity and dreams that are still swirling and unexpressed inside you, and symbolizing some answers, some uncertainty and some resources, respect, recognition, and even financial and career achievements that you're still seeking, all represented by the abundance and the judgment cards reverse here. And also um, the shadow work in the Eight of Wands reverse cards to the left, where they all include depictions of the moon right? And so the astrology of July 2023 is filled with dynamic cardinal and social energy for the collective that really requires a balancing act of finding inner and outer harmony as the celestial bodies activate so much movement and opportunity to course correct and prepare for this new moon and lunar node mid-month portal that offers this opportunity to quantum leap level up and transform practical aspects of one's life. While the cosmos are also sparking profound synchronicities for deep healing and awakening in one's personal, spiritual, and psychological life, and also their relationships. And for you, dear Geminis, the stars and the cards suggest exactly this, but with more emphasis on you resting especially being mindful of any inner of any inner injuries uh, i'm getting tongue twisted between the words injuries and and wanting to say energies and i'm getting the sort of message that for some of you maybe you're learning something about energy healing or alternative healing remedies this month and maybe where uh, if you do have some sort of physical injury where it is thought that it can only be helped by traditional Western medicine or something of the sort, that you could find that energy healing could actually be the cure or something that truly, truly helps, right? Um, because you may find that uh, any sort of like stress, tension, pain, um, or something right it could actually be more of an emotionally based issue than you realize um it could also be one of the ways that the divine is sort of forcing you to slow down and that is actually a message that um i do have um noted here for you right um and so i'm gonna get into more of that right but Definitely, dear Gemini's, there is this emphasis on resting, um, being mindful of any injuries, finding inner harmony and tuning out all the movement of the outside world so that you can truly take stock and integrate all the lessons from Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, and the lunar nodes in Taurus and Scorpio, right, that has been related to discernment in relationships, your finances, taxes, contracts, assets, your career, and your communications in terms of your creative, literary, marketing, and professional communications. The cosmos have been and are continuing to really spotlight this sort of overall question of legacy for you, right, in terms of long-term career visions and how they include uh, learning, higher learning, maybe spirituality, um, wisdom, creative artistry, media and technology, and uh, goods or services with a broad impact and net worth potential. And the universe has supported efforts to majorly increase your wealth and create a powerful legacy through gifting you with really great ideas um, and also through the success of certain publishing, media, tech, and creative projects and from expanding your networks, expanding your, your reach and your connection to key supportive resources, moguls, or even mentors. While 
the cosmos have also challenged you with great losses and unmet expectations and seeming sabotage in all areas of your life despite your efforts right and the divine wants you to know that the larger outer planets have been facilitating this long powerful spiritual and emotional transformation for you to really develop and fortify muscles of your craft um, to force you to do great research and for you to strengthen your connection with your inner and higher self and understanding of any issues with your sense of self-worth and true net worth potential financial literacy to enable you to reach certain dreams but also for you to learn a better vet people that you engage or work with right including family and any business partners right or any uh mentors right so that you don't give your power away anymore due to seeking acceptance or affirmation uh, from this wounded space of self-doubt or low confidence uh, low self-trust or low sense of self-worth right and I'm getting this message here, right, that some of you thought that the low-hanging fruit within your human eyesight were the highest heights. And I'm going to say that again. Some of you thought that the low-hanging fruit in terms of relationship and career goals within your human eyesight, you thought that those were the highest heights. But your third eye and hindsight have revealed that that isn't quite right. There's more to be created and illuminated as a possibility model through your light, right? And the divine really had to show you your true potential and powers of creation beyond that through great gains and losses, right, and and delays, right, and it wasn't to affirm, right, any gaslighting that you're not good enough, not worthy, or that your efforts are futile, right, quite the opposite, it was really to show you that your ideas, right, your capabilities, your potential are actually quite beyond the pay and approvals that you were seeking or settling for, right, So take that if this is something you are still sort of wrapped up in, right? It's important for you to heal the wounds that any challenges, delays, and loss created, right? This month is about a turning point. It's about you taking a quantum leap. It's about no no more desperation, doubt, fake confidence or overworking, right? From a space of insecurity or seeking approval or affirmation of your talent. Trust the foundation you've built, the ways that you don't belong, and trust the vision that you have and the timing of everything. And like I mentioned before, (laughs) also even the ways that your body and any health issues have synchronistically contributed to you having to take time out to rest, right? It has been about the divine trying to slow you down, (laughs) right? And um, force you to take time out. And as you see here, right, we have the giving and receiving cards and the take time out cards um, as the advice for you this month related to... um, you know, all of this that is coming up here, right? And um, the divinely timed cardinal new moon in your second house of finances, personal values, and self-worth happening this month on the same day that the node of fate, destiny, and expansion moves into Aries, which is your 11th house of abundance, while Jupiter makes its way to your sign, right? Slowly but surely over the course of 2023 through 2024, it's all about this incredible reset, right? And and um, sort of 
the divine sort of setting things up, right, for certain things to have better success now moving forward and for you and based on you, right, having more confidence and empowerment and better people in your life, right? And so this is your sign. <laughs> if if you're not there yet, you need to get there, right? You need to get there. You need to heed this, right? Trust the timing of everything, the karmic, spiritual, physical, emotional, relationship, and financial tests and breakthroughs that have gifted you wisdom to really help you gracefully and smartly navigate relationships, any trickster energy, negativity, and even covert sabotage and jealous energy, right, that you may come across, right, based on you being who you are, right? And this month, again, just marks the true beginning of building your dreams and thriving after surviving this hero's journey, okay? So in terms of the astrology, just some key dates or points to, to know for this month of July. I mentioned that we begin the month with a full moon, right? And this is really about you sort of uh, reflecting on certain milestones um, and also it marking this sort of new beginning for you with any publishing, liter literary or travel, higher education or spirituality uh, or financial or asset management affairs, right? And you gaining higher wisdom, from revisiting, you know, some knowledge and experiences from the past, um, and you merging that wisdom with new information that you're going to be gaining from life and any learning experiences going forward, right? And Mercury and Venus are going to be putting a focus also on your finances and daily spending habits, uh, your relationship to writing, learning, um, maybe daily transportation, and even your communications and relationships with siblings, right? And um, yeah, this may be a month also where you are thinking about um, money management education. Maybe you are renegotiating certain contracts. Um, maybe you are finding some resolve related to any conflicts in money, um, assets, right? Or maybe even family matters, right? That lead to a really powerful emotional breakthrough and some heart healing for you. And all of this just contributing positively to your creative expression, confidence, and self-love going forward, especially from this new moon point moving forward, right? Around July 17th, okay? And we are going to have the uh, nodes switching signs and this new moon energy really activating your houses of money, um, your houses related to social media, social causes, social groups. Um, and it just marking this really powerful new beginning for you, powerful changes beginning, and it helping your independence, right? Maybe also um, powerful changes moving forward related to any legal issues and you just having more harmony, right? Um, and also equity in terms of any contracts or any relationships, right? In terms of the cards, um, speaking to potential challenges for you this month, they definitely speak to um, you potentially battling exhaustion while also feeling a sort of restlessness while needing to rest, right? And a lot of this is related to the fact that Uranus is in your house of your mental health, um, your uh, mental activity, right? And um, it's making a lot of aspects this month, right? And so you could absolutely be feeling restless. You could be having a lot of ideas, a lot of synchronistic insights coming into a lot of sort of lock and key information that's really helpful for you. Um, and again, it is also related to the fact that you might be really energetic energetically sensitive, right? And again, needing to 
tune out the world, right? You can absolutely be feeling more sensitive to energy and easily overwhelmed by uh, social activity um, and just in general, um, anything that you consume, right? So be mindful of what it is that you consume um, in any and every way, right? And take care of yourselves this month. The card that we actually have related to the overall spiritual lesson for you this month is this middle world card that you see here next to uh, giving and receiving and take time out. And if you look, right, it looks very similar to the Four of Swords in the center. While it has the sort of color story of the take time out card, right? And so this is absolutely this message to, you know, create your little bubble of peace and serenity and don't feel bad about that. Don't feel any pressure about that. Um, create this bubble of peace and serenity that you can return to this month. And that is absolutely what having um, all of this activity <laughs> um, is sort of a test for, right? And Absolutely, we have your major arcana card here, the lovers in reverse as the outcomes for the month. And it, again, is about you having this sort of divine union within yourself, right? And you focusing more on your own personal growth, integration, balance, and internal harmony, what it is that you're doing, what it is that you're focused on, what it is that you want to achieve, your own trajectory and timeline, as opposed to worrying about anyone else, and what anyone else is doing, right? Overall, dear Geminis, you are so multi-talented and extremely intelligent and the questions that just loom in addition to this overall question on legacy given that we have saturn and pisces in your house of careers like just what are your career convictions are you committed and spiritually fit to see them through how will you play your hand how have you given your power away in the past will you continue to give your power away how can you and how will you call your power back and increase it, right? These are some things that you can meditate on, right? We have this Four of Swords meditative card here that is all about you getting to this point of mastering the law of abundance where this abundance card here reads, it says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality and then the giving and receiving card here says give and take is different to giving and receiving taking and receiving are not the same when we take whoever we take from may or may not have chosen to give however when we receive choice and respect are an integral part of the exchange and then it says, learn to let go of any need to take and embrace the harmony of giving and receiving. And it says, give yourself permission to stop. Sometimes we just need to slow down and rest up. And yet so often we keep on pushing and pushing, even though there are clear signs that we should stop. Taking time out now will allow you to replenish your energy in return, revitalized and with an abundance of focused energy okay so that is that is layered right and absolutely in alignment with all of the <laughs> things that i mentioned before okay so again other things for you to meditate on right is this question of are you surrounded by people you trust right are you versed in spiritual and psychic self-defense in instances that you have to deal with people you distrust? And in generally, like just navigating the matrix, right? And it's like because of your high knowledge and your abilities, right? The universe has essentially been testing your ability to sort of master the art of chess when you're a magician in the matrix, right? Using your high self-awareness, discernment, and facts of how to be 
in the world, but not of the world. How to play your hand, but not reveal your hand, right? And this is all sort of depicted in the cards here, right? It all just really lines up and, and, and speaks to all of these different sort of meta layers of the insight that the divine is really wanting you to truly, truly internalize, right? And so to really just sum everything up and to leave you with just some nuggets of wisdom, right? The divine is sort of wanting you to know that this month just really marks the true beginning of you building your dreams and thriving after your hero's journey, right? There's a message for you to save your best for yourself and to also just truly understand that any delays and even you taking time out now, again, like the card says, is for you to replenish your energy so that you are able to harness your energy in alignment with so much of this supportive cosmic energy for you and your ventures. All right. Continue to communicate your boundaries and advocate and negotiate based on your high self-worth, right? And reveal things strategically. Be a magician and a chess master in the matrix, right? And tap into your inner CEO, your higher mind, wisdom teachings, and your higher visionary goals as you go forward, okay? We're going to wrap your reading up with the angel number messages that came through for you. And those were 433 and 522. And 433 came through on so many different occasions like when I first like did the card channeling and also even today when I was um just recording this right and putting it together this number came through on so many different clocks throughout the day even right so all right I'm gonna read this one for you so number four is related to effort and will patience and persistence hot damn <laughs> realistic values ability and stability service and devotion building solid foundations and achieving positive results it's also about your passion and drive and number three and particularly it coming through is master number 33 it's about growth and expansion sensitivity self-expression, creativity, communication, all right, joy and optimism. And it relates to guidance and assistance and understanding inner wisdom, spiritual awakening and upliftment. It's a powerful message that you are fully supported, surrounded and loved by the angels and higher beings of the spiritual realms. You have toiled long and hard and your angels want you to know that you have successfully manifested prosperity and abundance into your life. Be open to receiving your well-earned rewards and blessings and maintain a positive attitude and outlook to continue manifesting positive abundance in your life. Yes, I said, mastering the law of abundance for you all, okay? So use your natural and positive attributes to uplift others as you purposefully work towards attaining your own goals and desires, whatever they may be. Be flexible, loving, and bring joy to the lives of others. And when you live your life with love and light, you manifest positive energies and auspicious circumstances into your life. Be a blessing to others and you will feel blessed in return. A timely opportunity or situation may bring many pieces of the puzzle together for you this month. Yes, you have learned many invaluable lessons and have been patient and determined in your efforts. And now is the time to reap your rewards. Okay, and then 522. Five is about major life changes, positive choices and decisions courage, motivation, learning life lessons, and auspicious opportunities. And 22 is the master builder number related to you building your dreams and having wisdom related to partnerships and relationships, insight, intuition, support, understanding, and encouragement. 
All right. And it's a message that changes in your life will bring about a more spiritual perspective and approach. Your angels ask that you stay balanced and focused during these transitions. I want to say that this is something that came through um, absolutely in your Venus and Leo reading and also your Eclipse season guide readings as well. Um, and those have additional and different insights. So definitely check those out as they're linked below. But a lot of this is related to the fact that, again, you have a lot of activity right now through Taurus, which is all about your houses of spirituality, right? Okay, so 522 encourages you to see the bigger picture and make the necessary changes in order to complete that picture. That is absolutely Jupiter in the 12th house, okay? And it encourages you to bring things through to fruition on both the spiritual and material planes. Amazing. Remain optimistic and current. <laughs> Remain optimistic about current life changes as they are in direct alignment with your divine life purpose and soul mission. Know that all is going to divine timing and a divine plan. Like I have chills. Like I I feel like such a such a I don't know, I can't even explain it. Like I just feel so much like happiness, so much light, like so much light. And I have chills right now. Okay. Like this is beautiful. Like this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I wish this for you, Gemini. It is happening. Okay. <laughs> this is a strong message that strong faith and trust manifest positive energies and auspicious circumstances into your life. Trust that the angels have heard your prayers and positive affirmations and are responding and answering by presenting changes and opportunities to advance you along your path. Definitely, definitely encourage you all to join in our daily grace motivation meditation practice with the uh, shorts and the media content that I post here and on TikTok. It is absolutely related to all of this. That is the whole purpose. It is about us joining in together and creating this sort of high vibe energy field that resonates and that supports each and every one of us, right? And so definitely subscribe and keep up with all of those, right? And so angel number 522 also suggests that life changes you're facing will bring new opportunities and turn out to be the answers to your prayers. Stay calm, balanced and focus and trust your intuitive messages and promptings. Isn't that exactly what this person is doing in this Four of Swords card? Yes, it is. Okay, it says use these energies to change things to the way you want them to be. Yes, it says do not waste time in energy resisting change. Embrace change and trust that everything will work out just fine. That is so beautiful, so beautiful. And I want you all to know that UA Light Celestial Insight includes divine wisdom from the stars and the cards, but also in terms of me receiving psychic insights most of the time, all of the time, through angel numbers as well as I am channeling your messages. And so when I read these to you, I'm also reading them for the first time to see all of the ways that they line up synchronistically with all of the wisdom from the stars and the cards. Okay, so Gemini's definitely give this video a like, uh, give this podcast a positive review and share this light and insight with someone you love. I hope that July is good to you. Take good care of yourselves.